here's today's project. We're building a shed slash office. Assembly instructions, 10 by 10 garden shed by solid build outdoor wood projects. It's basically like a giant Lincoln log kit. Seems legit. Let's see how it goes. That's where she's gonna sit. 10 by 10 pad, I didn't pour it, but they say it's level. We're gonna find out real quick. All right, it's narration time. Started out by laying everything, the floor joists and the first base section down to find level and square it all up, which once you square it up, I secured the floor joists to the concrete pad with quarter inch by three and a quarter inch tap cons. Um, after you get those all secured to the concrete pad, you do screw that first section to the floor joist. So that kind of holds everything nice and square for you. And then after that, you really just start stacking everything. I did, as you can see there, you do have to screw the door frame together. That's the only thing that kind of doesn't come pre-assembled. But the windows and everything are fully assembled. You just drop them into place. And once you get, I got, basically when I got up to the gable section, after I did the gables is when, you know, that's when I installed the doors just in case there was a situation. I had time to readjust, but it all worked out very well. And you can see that top section, once you get the gables and the, the main joists and the ceiling joists, you, uh, you do secure those as well. So the only two sections you actually screw together are the first section and then the top section. And once you're done assembling, you could do it now, but you can wait until the end like I did. You actually have these strips of wood that you screw from the top section to the base section. So... It kind of holds the entire structure together for wind and stuff like that. And there is a little groove cut out in those connecting, I'll call them furring strips is almost what they look like. There is a groove in there to allow for fluctuation of the wood and as I like to refer to it, the breathing of the wood. I always tell people when I'm doing things made out of raw wood that it's still an, a living organism, or at least that's how I see it. And these things breathe, they fluctuate with the weather, and you have to take that into account. With that being said, for the roofing slats, I did add a sixteenth of an inch gap between the boards. I am eventually going to shingle that roof to add that extra more permanent layer of protection to it the flooring i put a quarter inch gap around the entire perimeter as well as you know tried my best to give it about a 30 second of an inch gap just because they may keep the flooring the way that it is they may do a vinyl flooring they may just throw down a rug i'm not really sure how they're going to finish the interior of this i've made my suggestions and They'll do with it what they want to, but it's definitely nice to have a helper hand your boards. Definitely makes it go down a lot faster. There was no trimming needed for the left to right, I'll say, but once you get to the back, you do have to rip down that last piece, which was totally expected and wasn't that big of a deal. Moving on to some of the finishing work, we started with the fascia boards and the floor trim. I took on the fascia boards while my son did the floor trim. And the floor trim, they don't give you one single piece for each wall. They actually give you two pieces. So we beveled the corners and I showed my son how to bevel the joints to kind of hide the seam a little bit better. Being a contractor that specializes in finishing work and stuff like that I went above and beyond you could just simply nail them together but I built this thing like it was my own and I wanted it to be kind of as perfect as I could 
I did use a nail gun through the whole project instead of just the hammer and nail method that they supply and it did speed the work up a lot. Also having a helper helps out tremendously. Just handing pieces of wood to you can make things go a lot faster. But my son, who's an avid Lego builder and aspiring engineer, really was totally into this project with just how easy it was. And in the morning, there was nothing. And by the end of the day, you've got a fully built structure that could be utilized as a lot of different things. Like I said, they're going to use it as an office, so they will be putting an air conditioning unit in this. And I'm assuming a heater for the winters, but we're in Southern California, so... Winters aren't bad, but summers could be pretty grueling. And yeah, don't be scared to take this project on. It goes together pretty quickly. there it is she's all done took us probably maybe seven six and a half seven hours no breaks but I'm ambitious see it goes all the way down the side still got to put a roof on it that'll come later doing the roof but for the most part it really does just snap together. You have to do some screwing and you put these little wind brackets on in case the roof decides to blow away. This is what you have left over. They do give you quite a bit of scrap, or I mean not scrap, but uh, extra pieces. <laughs> um, two different styles of molding depending on the gap you decide to choose. But yeah, for the most part, the hardware is very nice. Inside's nice and homey. It still needs, you know, it has to have those finishing touches. There are some gaps. I'm assuming they'll close up with time. We're in a very dry season right now. So I did actually leave about a sixteenth of an inch gap between all the planks. So they've got room for expansion. As well as down on the floor. I left about a quarter inch gap all the way around. So there's room there. The windows do this really cool thing where you can have them kick out like that. Or what you do is you push this little bracket in, open this lever down here, and then you can open them all the way. So they're a dual function window. Mechanisms, mechanisms are a little, Sticky, but yeah, no, I really like it for how easy it is to go together. It's like instant room. They're going to utilize this room as an office actually. So they're going to put an AC unit. They've got power plumbed already and uh, they'll make it a nice little space. Other than that, we're going to call this job done. There she is. All right. Have a good one.